How are we doing everybody? Charles of Mr. 380 Easy Products and today we've got the grip safeties from the 9mm and this will be the same for the 380. Uh, they follow the same structure, they have the roughly the same differences in the same areas. Uh, the only difference is, is the they do not interchange. Um, I've had a couple people message me saying that they received larges rather than mediums. Um, they've also said that they received a 380 rather than a 9 um, because I drilled the hole too short. So uh, there's there's a couple people that are either uh, don't know the difference between the two and also um, might have installed it incorrectly or had an unlikely expectation. Uh, so just to give you a clue, I've got the flush mount, aka the factory base model grip safety is the second one um, i've also got the performance center which is the fourth one so as you can see i tried i tried getting the colors to where you could tell the difference uh, i'll take them out individually and compare them to the next size for you but we're dealing with millimeters of difference these are not uh, there's not a large variation between them and there's really only a couple areas I could in improve on. Um, I talked with probably 40 or 50 easy owners before I made uh, the exact changes where I made them. Um, a lot of people's complaints on the performance center was these edges. Uh, a lot of people complained that they couldn't grab that one, um, the base model one. and. And a lot of people didn't like the fact that on the performance center, this section right here, the top three quarter of it, um, stuck out too much. They thought that there should have been a dip there. So, in my designs, there is a dip, as you can see, right through that area. This seems more pronounced. It's really not that much more pronounced than the factory one. Um, and also down at the bottom, it does sit a little bit more flush. That way it's a little bit less noticeable. Now, the overall height. Of this one. At the highest section. Or the tallest point, however you want to say it. is 15 millimeters. Now on the base model it's almost 16 millimeters. Through that portion that we had talked about where people were complaining and wanted to see improvements there is three quarters of a millimeter difference there let's see if we can get it in the trough and there's a one millimeter difference so it's about a one millimeter difference there and also on the back section it's lower as well so the whole thing sits lower that's almost half a millimeter almost it's on the, the bottom end of that but so we're talking very 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 minute changes between the base model and this. The difference is, is, as far as I know, I have not seen anybody um, actually send their gun back so Smith & Wesson can install the base model grip safety on a performance uh, center one. So that's why these exist. Um, next would be the medium. So the medium, 
as you can see, is bigger overall uh, than the base model one. Let's go ahead and measure. Probably help if I get my hand on it, right? I know that doesn't look good for photography. We're 1.1 millimeter difference over the base at the trough, and then overall, height wise, we are 16. and we're 18. So there's two millimeter difference at the very top of it. There is one millimeter difference at the trough. And a half a millimeter at the base of it. Okay, so there is a difference, slight in some areas, a lot in others, but at max, two millimeters at the top, half a millimeter down at the bottom. So you can see how this is not much more, but it's not a performance center, which is what people have told me. I sent them a medium and they thought it was a performance center. So we're gonna go ahead and measure this and I'll I'll do my best to get some type of graphic up on here. So we're 18 and a half on the performance center And we're 18 on my medium. So, there's a difference there. Now we're gonna do the trough. You know what, this is probably easier. So we're 12 tall there. And we're 15 tall there. So there's a three millimeter difference in the trough section between the performance center and my medium. And we're the same um, on this bottom portion. Now the large. This is one thing that I didn't want to go too far with the large because if people honestly just wanted a replacement for the performance center, uh, this would be a good option for them. Also, that being said, another thing is, is if you go too big, you might as well just get an aftermarket grip uh, like the sleeve for like the shield or something to throw it on there and just not worry about the uh, grip safety unless you're tearing it down um, still don't advise that because that automatically disables your drop safety so but you do what you do so the difference between my large and the performance center so we're going to go right there. Oh, probably help this. So. There is a 
a 0.3 millimeter difference on the large in the trough. and a three millimeter difference on the top, so. There are differences between the sizes, and just like the performance center and the standard, if you pair any of these up, you can see, oops, sorry, let me get that. Maybe a little bit more in focus. Um, so there's the small, uh, the low profile flush mount, and there's the large. So for those who were either not satisfied with it or they expected less or more, um, I, I am sorry. Uh, I know I didn't have the documentation that explained all this out for you, but I would like to just say I will uh, work with you in getting it changed out. Um, if the medium you think is a large and it's just too big, um, you know, or no, just about anything else, um, I will work with you. So just as a baseline, set the expectations of you're dealing with millimeters um, on the biggest difference. You're dealing with a three millimeter difference. On the smallest, a half a millimeter difference. Um, these are not massive changes. These are slight subtle changes that you will notice in your grip. You may not notice it as much, but I promise you these are being sold with the intent of I put as many sizes as I can in between the two that were different enough that they do produce a different feeling than both the base model and the performance center. There's, I could fit five in here. If I wanted to recreate these two exactly, I can make one larger, I could make one um, that's actually smaller than this, and then make these two sizes. So, um, I am working on a slight redesign for those who their biggest complaint is that ridge that pops out. Now this, is, I will say up front, this is not my design. This is actually a design from another gentleman who posted it online. Um, and I tried it out and it does work. The downside is, is if you try to move this up in any way, um, as far as like how far it sticks out, it does not scale up. Uh, versus mine, they do, uh, this one does not. So if you print this in the standard size that the gentleman has done the work for, uh, it's it's a good, it's a good one. Uh, he did a phenomenal job modeling it. Uh, he's very good at modeling. I wish I was on his level. But um, I will say this, there is a similar pattern between these two in that they both oh that light is really bright they both have this hump in the center of it in that three quarter range they both have a hump um, so if you do have a printer and you want to print this just know that the expectation is is it's just going to be basically a flattened version of the performance center so with everything being said there is a, a basically smoothed out version coming. I do have a scanner that is on the way that I will be able to take some 3D scans of the guns. And the next project with the EZs um, is actually going to be getting this top section here. Let me adjust that. Um, is getting the top section of this to line up with the arch of the grip. So we will 
let you know trust me if you're on Facebook or anything like that you will you will know it because I'll be I'll be geeking out and posting up videos of it and all that but um, please please take the time um, contact me if you have any questions if you don't know what a millimeter is please uh, go online search for it use some tools uh, remember this is the largest oh come on get it that's your biggest difference so please take the time um, ask the questions I will do my best uh, if you happen to send me a message please understand that I am getting more messages than I can actually uh, handle right now uh, my priority is printing and getting orders out uh, secondary is getting messages answered um, so thank you um, please contact me and we'll see you next time